title is Driving the Indian Way. Driving the Indian Way, Bimal Badami. Good morning. India was a host for this year's Commonwealth Games. It is, it is a big sporting event for India. Right? There are a lot of countries uh, taking part in it. So Indian government decided to help visitors and issued advisors. Now this is one of the things which we really like, giving advices. The advice is for visitors, please do not kiss in public. Please take your shoes off when you get into someone's house or temple. Please carry a toilet paper when you travel. Or, or, or do not get annoyed when someone stares at you for a long time. The best one though, visitors, please do not drive in India. I was like, come on guys, you need to tell them a lot more than that. Do not just tell them that do not drive. Explain them why you don't want every Tom, Dick and Harry who thinks you can drive in India, should not drive in India. It's not like that friends, rules are different. It's rules are followed differently. Last time I was in India, and had a chance to rent a car. A uh, driver comes, his name was Babu. He, he was very well dressed, could speak some English, and uh, he looked very well behaved, at least outside the car. But as soon as he got inside, he got transformed. He got transformed into an Oscar driver. <laughs> I was still struggling to wear my seatbelt because it looked like it has never been used. <laughs> so he looked, he looked at me, and he couldn't speak because he was, his mouth was full with tobacco. So he did just any gesture. So that I picked it up, he meant that don't worry about it, you know, there's no cost. So I said, fine, but I'm used to wear seatbelts, so I wore a seatbelt. And even before I clicked it, he already started. He was already on the road. And uh, I was kind of a bit scared because he started driving on the left-hand side of the road. Here, we drive on the right-hand side of the road. So I said, oh man, he's driving on the, you know, the wrong side of the road. But soon he saw my confusion and he changed the change on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, that is that make me comfortable. And I realized, oh no, this is this is really wrong side. But I was a bit relaxed because I remember a few years ago my instructor, Jimmy, he advised me one day, the Vimal, do not worry about right side or wrong side on, uh, on the Indian road. Basically, you start on the left hand side. Unless that is occupied, you move for the right. <laughs> if that is occupied, you go for the right. You keep moving right until you find a space, like you were playing chess. So, so I was relaxed. I, I let him drive. Now, we were going to the busy street, and I could not avoid noticing back because it was continuous honking. Every time someone would honk, I would, I would look back, but I could never find out who honked. But so everyone honks. Everybody honks here. We, we are born to honk. <laughs> Unlike other countries, where you honk just to show your protest, no, we, we honk for everything. We honk to show that we are happy, we honk to show that we are sad, we honk to show, hey, we know someone out of one million people. <laughs> and it's not plain jam honk. There are various types of honk. There is one short blast honk. honk. This is to show that you are supreme over someone on the road and you're asking him to move out. <laughs> there is two short blossoms. Pop, pop. This is to show that, hey, I know someone. Or maybe you see a pretty girl and you cannot compliment him. You can't compliment her, so you would just have pop, pop. <laughs> but the main important one is the long, desperate honk. This is to show that, hey, I'm too fast. I cannot stop. I cannot stop. <laughs> if, if you don't move, we will both die. Honking <laughs> our way through the busy street, I realized that someone challenged Babu with the honk for a race. And he picked it up. Because he was mad. He could not avoid the competition. So he started racing. And I realized that he jumped a couple of red lights. I panicked. I said, Babu, Babu, you just, just, just jump a couple of red lights. And he, he almost scared because I shouted at him. So he stopped the car and he asked me. He cleared his mouth and asked me, did you see any car? I said, no. Uh, did you see someone stopping at the red lights? He said, no. Then, you still want me to stop there. Do you think if someone gets hit, who's going to pay for it? I have to pay out of my pocket. I said, Babu, Babu, that's fine. But please, please drive safe now. So he understood me because he did this. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 so he said, now I'm, I'm 
good. I'm calm down. He's calm down. I'm calm down. Going, coming out of the street, he now was on the highway, and he got a lot more rooms to maneuver his cars. He, there was high speed, like everyone was trying to break the speed record, speed record, and he was changing his lanes like a rattlesnake running after a rat. <laughs> I noticed he would not use any signals. He would not use any mirrors. In fact, his side mirrors were closed because he wanted to save it from other cars getting a hit. And only mirror he was using was a side mirror, a rear view mirror, that is also to check his hairstyle. <laughs> so I, was, I was again afraid. I, I, I shook Babu and said, Babu, you are changing lanes without signal and mirrors. So he, he was frustrated now. He said, you know what? I, I drive forward. I don't drive backward. I don't use mirror for driving forward. <laughs> <laughs> that when I decided I'm not gonna argue with this guy. Let him drive hard. <laughs> All of a sudden he panicked. This was the first time I saw him panic on the highway and he started desperate honk, very loud honk. And I realized that, and I panicked as well because we saw a truck on our side. And uh, he was not, the truck was not moving. It was a very big truck. There is no way he could move. So Babu was scared and maybe smart enough, so he pulled over and let that phenomenon go away. Now, guys, truck drivers, Indian truck drivers are like James Bond. They got license to kill. <laughs> Please never, never ever try to mess with them. Just, just let them go past. So with all this experience, I guess Indian government could use this uh, kind of scary moments to inform, not to scare the visitors, but just to let them know that, hey, you cannot, you do not drive in India. Or rather, I should say, you cannot drive in India unless you were born in India, and you were trained in India, and you have at least five years of experience to travel in India. Thank you. <laughs>